Hi everyone, in this video, we'll look at fetching data from an application and auto-populate it into another application in a Zoho Creator account. To demonstrate this requirement, let's consider the example of two apps, the Employee Management app and the Travel Management app. This is the Add Employee form in the Employee Management app where the employee details will be stored. On the other hand, the new travel request form in the Travel Management app allows the employees to raise requests for their business trips. Let's create workflows to fetch the employee's name, department and the manager's email ID from the Employee Management app and auto-populate it on the Travel Management app when the employee enters their email ID. To achieve this requirement, we need to perform two simple steps. One, create a custom function to fetch the employee details from the Employee Management app and two, create a workflow to auto-populate the fetch field values on the user input of the employee email ID field on the Travel Management app. First, let's create a custom function to fetch employee details from the Employee Management app. To do that, from the Employee Management app, go to the Editor and access the Workflow section. Select the Functions tab and click on Create Function. Give a name. Select the Scripting Language as Deluge. Select the Namespace if applicable or choose Default. Namespace allows you to group similar functions under a name to avoid confusions. We need the return value as a collection, so choose the same as the return type. Next, specify the parameter for the argument. In this case, let's specify it as EMP email, select the type as string and create a new function. This syntax will be generated on the builder based on the values you enter on creating a function. In the first line of code, we have the return value type name of the function we created, name of the argument we created, and its return type. Now, we need to define the script for our function to fetch the employee details and specify the return type. In our case, we need to fetch the employee's name, department, and the manager's email ID based on the employee's email ID. To do that, declare a variable, getRecord equals, choose the form in which the employee details are stored, and set the condition to be email equals EMP email. Here, we fetch the record that contains the email ID of the employee and store it in the parameter EMP email. Next, let's create a collection to store the fetched employee details. To do that, declare a variable getInfo equals collection. Now, we need to specify the fields that we want to store within the collection. In our case, we need to store the employee's name, department and the manager's email ID. Type getInfo.insert quote first name unquote colon getRecord.name.firstName. Here, the record based on the employee's email ID is fetched and stored in the variable getRecord. From this record, we fetch the value of the first name field and store it in the key first name. Then, we use the dot insert function to add this key value pair to the collection. Let's follow the same process to store the fetched last name, department and the manager's email ID with the respective keys within the collection. Now, we have created the key value pairs for all our required fields. Next, let's replace collection with variable getInfo for the return value. We do this since we have already stored the collection in the variable getInfo. Click Save. Now, we have created a custom function to fetch the name, department and the manager's email ID of the employee based on the employee's email ID. Click Done. The next step will be to call the function we created from the Travel Management app. By doing this, we'll be able to fetch the required field values from the Add Employee form and auto-populate it on the Race Travel Request form based on the user input of the Requester Email ID field. To do that, access the editor on the Travel Management app, go to the Workflow section and click on Create New Workflow. Select the Travel Request form as this is the form we want to run the workflow on. Choose the workflow to run when a record is created or edited. We need to run the workflow based on the user input of a field. We choose this option as we want the workflow to be executed after the employee enters their email ID on the requester email ID field. Name the workflow and proceed. Click on Add New Action. The Dilute Script Builder will open. 
let's proceed to define the script here. The logic is to fetch and auto-populate the details of the name, department and the manager's email ID based on the email ID entered by the employee in the requester email ID field. This can be fetched from the custom function we created earlier named fetch employee details. To do this, declare a variable emp details equals select the employee management app dot enter the name of the custom function we created and type input dot requester email id here we use the fetch employee details function from the employee management app to fetch the record based on the entry made on the requester email id field we store this value in the variable emp details next we need to populate the fetched name department and the manager's email id into the respective fields in the app to do that type input dot name dot first name equals emp details dot get quote first name unquote here the variable emp details contains the record associated with the requester email id from this record we use the dot get function to fetch the value stored in the key first name from the collection we created earlier we then populate this fetch value in the first name field Let's follow the same process to populate the last name, department and manager's email ID. Save the script. We have configured a workflow based on user input to auto-populate the required fields using the fetch employee details function we created earlier. Let's see how this configuration works on our travel management app. This is the all employees report on the employee management app where we have the employees list and their details. Let's type in the email addresses of a few employees from this list. As we see, once we enter the requester email ID, the corresponding name, department and the manager's email ID are auto-populated in the specified fields. Therefore, the script works perfectly. We hope this video gave you a demonstration on how to fetch and auto-populate data from one app to another in your Zoho Creator account. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.